Alrighty, I went ahead and bought two of the 285.50 puts that expire in three days at 120. I realized I got in a little on the high side. I sold one at $1.25. Sold the other one at $1.25. So quick trade. I actually have to run here. I have a couple of errands to run. And uh, we're okay. Oh, I didn't realize that I bought in at $1.19. I thought I bought at $1.20. Let me show you today's quick trades. Um, bought both of them at $1.19. Sold them both at $1.25. I was trying to get... Uh, I was trying to sell at $1.28 or... A little bit more but it's okay guys that was a quick trade six cents I'm good um, let's move on to the next one I haven't been trading a whole lot uh, mainly just because I haven't been getting any trade signals and uh, today's signal is a, it was a little iffy I didn't quite like uh, a couple things um, on you know the indicators the the way the indicators look um, the indicators that I use anyways so anyways that was my quick trade for the day, nothing major, nothing great, but I still made a little bit of money, guys. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button down below. Thank you everybody and see you again here next time. What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. Before we begin, I just realized that I never actually announced what I was trading. And of course, I traded SPY, SPY. I was a little weary about it, a little worried about it, because if you look back at the trading video, you'll notice that SPY, the Qs, and UVXY, they weren't quite lining up, especially the um, the uh, EMAs. If you look back, they just they don't line up correctly. So I proceeded with caution, went with tiny, tiny position, um, and I got out as soon as soon as I was in profit. I got out. With that being said, I love my strategy. I, I said this a thousand times. It's pretty accurate. It's pretty impressive how you know, spot on it is. It's giving me an opportunity that as soon as I get in, um, I'm in profit, and that I love that about my strategy. Um, with that being said, today's trade, I got in a little bit later than usual. I usually get in late. Um, but today a little extra late. I didn't actually jump in because because you know um, the cues weren't lining up. It wasn't until it actually start, started dropping or moving that I jumped in there. So eh, I'm pretty happy about it. Not a big deal. Again, if I can figure out how to make an extra buck, all I have to do is do that a million times over and over and over again. That's a little exaggeration, but you get my point what I'm trying to do here. So and again, I'm so sorry that I haven't been trading. The markets haven't been moving a whole lot for my liking and my strategy. I haven't been getting a whole lot of signals, but that's giving me an opportunity to step away from my um, computer here and spend more time with my son. Um, he started T-ball and he had his first T-ball game this past weekend. It was amazing a moment that I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. It was quite hilarious and cute to watch four and five year olds run around um, on a baseball field not knowing what to do is quite funny and uh, entertaining. I also wanted to talk to you about a little mishap that happened to me last week. I was trying to log into uh, Thinkorswim and I couldn't log in and it kept saying that I had the wrong password. I went into my email. I saw an email from TD Ameritrade telling me that um, they essentially closed my account due to not being funded for X amount of time. So I called TD Ameritrade, let, let them know what was going on. I asked them, you know, what the dealio is and they didn't know exactly what was going on. They, they claim that they usually don't do that. They don't actually close accounts uh, due to non-funding. I said, well, I got an email saying that that's the reason. They were a little baffled. I was a little baffled. But anyways, um, they couldn't just reopen my account. I had to reopen a, a, a new one, which meant that I had to rebuild all of my charts, my signal script for my signals. It was a disaster, to say the least. 
it took me about two solid days of being in front of the computer and literally rescripting, um, setting all my charts up. It was it was quite the ordeal for me. But with that being said, I want to give you a tip, guys. If you guys are using TD Ameritrade, uh, Thinkorswim to for, for your charting, but using a different platform to actually place your trades, fund your TD Ameritrade uh, with five dollars. That's what I did. It's a tiny, small investment, well worth the investment to make sure that they don't close your account. They claim that they don't do that, but for the peace of mind, I went ahead and uh, actually just you know funded it with five dollars so to make sure double triple sure that they don't close my account for next time just my quick tip for you guys and then you can do this with any other platform that you use that you don't use uh, for charting to execute your trades and whatnot just fund those accounts with five dollars just to make sure they don't close them thank you so much everybody for watching don't forget to smash that like button down below comment below what you thought about my trade about my strategy if you have any questions you're more than welcome to email me I'll, I'll put my email in the description down below guys also before i let you go because the markets haven't been moving a whole lot on the five minute chart, i'm thinking about even switching it up and looking at the one minute chart i'm doing some back testing comment down below what you think about that guys so thank you everybody so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and let's stay green and I'll see you next time on the next trade. Talk to you guys later.